Greetings, ladies and gents of the courtroom. It is I, your Honorable Judge Scythe Jekyll, and calling the case of making a quick video, because why not? So, I think from, like, one of my past old videos, you guys know I like to go to the gym, and I like to exercise. So, today I wanted to give a little insight about what I do on an arm day. I typically, I alternate between two types of days. I do an arm day, and then a leg day. I have not been going to the gym and working out as much recently, you know, due to due to doing another, doing a sport, let's just say that, but I'm gonna basically tell you what I do or what I used to do. I'm still gonna obviously go back to the gym when I can, but, but like, you know, my sport's pretty crazy. So, uh, let's start. So on an arm day, I'll start with doing four sets of 10 arms each with hammer curls. I normally do 40 pounds on each side. However, it's been proven that 40, when I say I do 10, I mean like 10 on each arm, basically. I prefer to just say 20 because it's like 20 in total. But I do hammer curls and 40 is pretty crazy. Like sometimes my form's a little bleh when it comes to like doing the later parts or doing more than 10 with 40. So I might have to move down to 35 with that. But that's how I start. Then I do the tricep pushdowns. Not push downs, press whatever. Sorry, it's where and I use the rope for it. I do about four sets of twenty. I do sixty five pounds, or I usually do that much. But sometimes my form isn't the best, so I either might want to change the amount I do. Although I think I think that can stay the same. It's fine. Or I might want to go down a little so my form's better. Next, I'll do a bar curl with. The, with a longer bar, about 70 pounds, although I often sway, so I might move down to 60. But that goes really well. I, I do like, I love the pump you get when you like lift it after like doing 10 in a row, you just put it down. It feels so good in your arms and it's good for your arms too. Then I go on the pec machine, do about 165 pounds. It gets a little tight, I guess, during the later sets, but like, especially when you're lifting like 165 like, when you get tighter, it's like your arms start to, like, bend a little more. You don't really want that. You want them to be spread out more. Like, you go, like, forward and then back and forward and back. I do about t uh, four sets of ten. And then I go to this machine that you're seeing right here, which is what I like to call the bend over back pull-up machine. I lift about 105 pounds on that. I, I usually do 100, but... Because I like, I got, it's good for your back. Let me just say this. This is really good for your back. I noticed some progress. Like my back looked better. And I think it was because I started doing this machine at when I started doing it. Anyways, sometimes it's like when I'm in a hurry, when I can't do my full workout, I typically don't do this machine or I alternate. But when I'm getting a chance to do my whole full exercise, I'm doing it. Although I also admit it's pretty tough at 105, but hey. You know what Z said, <laughs> if, if, it was, if it wasn't hard, everyone would be doing it. Next up, I use this machine, which I call tricep pushdowns, I think. Yeah, I lift about 190 pounds on this thing. Sometimes I'll go up a little on the seat, like, like that's not what you want. You want to sit firmly on the ground. I have good feet place, foot placement, and I just push down. I do four sets of 15, and then I do a bench. I lift 35 on each side and the, the, you know, the bar is like 45 pounds. So that's about 115 pounds in total, which it's not bad. Sometimes like, like I used to drop it a little when I was back when I started lifting 35s, but I, I was always okay. Don't worry. But I'm getting better at it now. I got to get more down to my chest and I like, I got to figure out the alternative for that. Do I, like, do I do less during a set, more sets, but less numbers during a set to balance it out? Or do I lift less? Who knows? But I'll figure it out because, yeah. But, like, you want to get it down to your chest more, which I absolutely need to work on. And I'm not afraid to admit that, I you know, I, I make, we all make, like, I've made some mistakes when it comes to the gym. I've been working out for a while now, but, well, not, not a while, less than a year, but it's been great, and I love it. 
And I just think that there's always room for improvement compared to everyone. Okay, next up is squats. I lift about 100 pounds in total. Well, 50 pounds on each side, so not exactly more. Uh, my squat form's not the best. And that's the thing with squats is like, you're probably going to suck at doing them the first time you do them, the first few times, but you, you got to try to get better with your form. My, my squat form is like, okay, but it could absolutely be better. So that's something I need to work on too. But I do like four sets of 10. You're starting to see a pattern with this, aren't you? Anyways, the last thing I do typically before leaving my gym is I will go on the elliptical and work two miles, two miles, 2.30 miles, basically. I don't exactly like run super fast, but I mean, I like do my work. Of course I get on it and like I walk, run, like do my work. I don't go super slow. I go at a good pace. I do what I can. And that takes about less than 20 minutes and then I'm done. So that's basically my arm, arm-ish day workout. I know these areas are like biceps and triceps and of course best is pec machine the pec machine and bench are more like chest day but i guess that's just this is just how i prefer to do my workouts but uh yeah hope you all enjoyed uh i will probably give my leg day schedule and other stuff day schedule out another time so peace out court adjourned